These are 10 of the greatest Xbox accessories that you should buy for your Xbox Series S and X. But they aren't just the standard accessories that you would expect to see. And a few of them hit a little different and are pretty exciting. So let's first start with probably one of my favorite, which is this Xbox 360 controller that doesn't work on the Xbox 360. This right here is the Hyperkin Xeon, which is a replica of an Xbox 360 controller, but it actually works on the Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, and also uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 gaming PCs. This is super exciting because it takes all of the nostalgia from our childhoods of the Xbox 360, but now makes it compatible with a modern console. So it's the ideal and perfect solution if you love playing xbox backwards compatibility because you can play games such as red dead redemption in 4k 30 fps on the xbox series x but have the gamepad you use when you were a kid it's honestly it's epic the xeon is available in a huge range of different colors but i opted for the classic white and gray because this look is just so iconic the only major drawback of the hyperkin xeon is the fact that it is a wired only controller so it's a little bit clunky fortunately the wire is super long so it's not a huge problem but it could be a bit of a deal breaker for a few people However, everything else about this gamepad does feel like a one-to-one -one replica of the original Xbox 360 controller. You have the classic headphone jack port located in the same area. The D-pad and thumbsticks are all the same shapes and styles. And even at the back of the controller, just above where the, basically the charging port is or the cable connection, you even have the Hyperking logo in the same style as the Microsoft logo on the old Xbox 360 pad. I'm a huge fan of the chrome details on the Xbox home button and then to keep it on trend with a modern console, you have the newer and more updated buttons that are required for the Xbox Series S and X, such as the new quick menu button and also the share button. Now something that is completely brand new that I've never mentioned before in a video is a new steering wheel from Moza Racing. Now I've not actually tested this out in the studio yet, but I did get to try it out when I was at Gamescom in Germany a few months ago. This right here is the brand new Moza R3, which is a budget entry-level direct drive steering wheel that costs around $399. This price isn't actually too bad when you consider the fact that it is a direct drive steering wheel and also the build quality of this thing. The main bulk of the wheelbase and also the pedals is made from an aluminium alloy, which on the website does claim to be aviation grade, so this thing could build an aeroplane. And inside of the wheelbase, you do get a direct drive motor that is 3.9 newton meters, which is pretty strong when you consider the Fanatec DD Pro is I think that's five newton meters of strength then if you get the boost pack it goes up to eight newton meters so it's a little bit stronger it isn't too far off that but it's much cheaper than something from Fanatec the thing that impressed me the most about this officially licensed Xbox product is the size of it. Just look at the wheelbase in my, the palm of my hand. It literally fits in one hand, which is pretty rare to say about a steering wheel. Usually these things are dead big and bulky, so a bit of a pain to get set up and also to store out the way when you're not using them. In addition to this, the wheelbase is beautifully designed. You see how it has that X shape in the wheelbase, which is super clever. It's obviously a reference to the fact this is like a, an officially licensed Xbox product and also one of their first steering wheels for a console. Now, just like all of the other Moza Racing wheelbases, it does have an interchangeable wheel system, so you can switch out different wheel rims depending on what you feel like using. And included in that $399 price tag is pretty much everything you need. You've got the wheelbase, the steering wheel, and also the pedals, and I think a table clamp too. From my testing at Gamescom, I was pretty impressed with this product overall, and I think it's a fantastic entry-level steering wheel for anybody that loves playing games such as Forza, F1, and Dirt Rally. Now, an essential upgrade that you do need if you have one of these next-generation consoles is some form of an expansion card. Now, thankfully, with the new Carbon Black Xbox Series S, a lot of the problems with the Series S have been resolved because you do get a one terabyte internal NVMe SSD, which is a complete game changer on that, that console. It just means you can install way more games and just enjoy it for just an extra $50 compared to the white edition. However, eventually you will obviously reach the capacity of your one terabyte drive either on your Series X or your Series S now. And this is where the new C uh, expansion card, not the Seagate expansion card, the one by WD Black, I highly recommend that you get one of these. The reason why this is my new go-to recommendation is because it is cheaper than the Seagate expansion card and it is also faster. From the tests I ran when we first got this in the studios, this was around three to four seconds faster at loading games in than the Seagate expansion card, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is, it's something you need to know, <laughs> that it is quicker. So I, I may as well tell you, otherwise, like, what's the point? I, it's a selling point of it, I guess. So it is actually a bit faster, which I think is pretty cool, and it's not going to change your life that it's faster, but it's, it's just good to know. The WD Black Drive comes in a huge range of different sizes. The one that I personally use is the one terabyte drive. I also have the Seagate expansion card, which is a one terabyte. I think this is the perfect sweet spot. 500 gigabytes drives, they're a little bit cheaper, but you don't really get that much more space. And then the two terabyte drives are quite expensive and could be a little bit overkill. So this is probably perfect. 
It means you don't end up over hoarding the amount of games installed on your console at once and you're a little bit more selective with the titles that you're actively playing. Now next up we've got probably one of my favorite accessories that released this year for the Xbox Series S and X and it's the Starfield limited edition controller and also the Starfield headset. Now both of these accessories are incredibly detailed in terms of their overall design and aesthetic and also the easter eggs that are referenced to the, the game that you play. This is by far my favorite controller at the moment. I love the fact that all of the buttons are mapped up to match the control scheme within the game for controlling your ship and so on and there's just something really clean and minimalistic about what is quite a busy design because of all of the text just the white and gray beautiful combo the red then pops beautifully and then i love the fact they use this sort of bronze gold on the d-pads and, and some of the uh, trigger aspects with these transparent triggers so you can see the motors actually vibrating and then to top all of this off the rear grips are double-sided so you have a rear grip on the outside of the shell and then on the inner which is quite unique usually you just have it on the inner on on these pads so it's very comfortable to use for extended gaming sessions then of course there is also the headset now this is the official wireless xbox headset but by far one of my favorite headsets that you can purchase around sort of 80 dollars even if you just get the regular black version great headset it's got some cool features for mixing the chat volume and and so on but this actually has some super special easter eggs when you power it on and off it makes a starship spaceship sound like like, like the engines booting up which the regular edition doesn't do it's quite cool and it helps you to know if it's turning on or not now i get that not everybody can play starfield if you've got an older xbox like an xbox one you, you can't play it on there it's a next gen title only however you may not be aware that you can actually play it via xbox cloud gaming if you have the top tier subscription on xbox game pass which, which could be a way for you to get around that if you do want to experience starfield on your older pieces of hardware something extra that does come included with the controller that i better not forget to mention is the exclusive wallpaper now this isn't the coolest wallpaper in the world it's obviously starfield themed you didn't expect it to be like a super cool planet or something like that but it's literally just like that blue and white starfield like decal that you get on all of the product boxes it's okay not the coolest thing in the world but what is much better are my own personal wallpaper packs now if you aren't aware i have my very own custom wallpaper pack that literally only costs five dollars that i sell on my own website now on your Xbox console, you don't have to use my wallpaper pack, you can just use your own images of you and your mates or whatever. But what you can do is you can load up custom images onto a USB stick, throw that into your console and then set those as your wallpaper backgrounds on your Xbox dashboard. It just gives that little personalization and level things up a little bit. Now the special and unique thing about my wallpaper pack is the fact that they're all really cool custom images. You get like around 50 images that also work with your mobile device. Each of these images have different styles of themes such as space planets, uh, shooting games, driving games and so on. But where it goes to the next level compared to just some standard images off of Google is the fact that each of these wallpaper packs were designed, I uh, designed them with somebody where the color schemes of them align with the available color palettes that you have on your Xbox console. So you know how on your Xbox console you can customize the color of your home buttons and your, and your little app icons to be green, pink, blue, yellow or whatever. Well all of these different colors tie in with the wallpaper pack so you can really have a bit of synergy across your entire xbox dashboard from the wallpaper in the background then your favorite color as your your profile color and so on it, it's super genius i'll leave a link to this down below in the description and also in the pinned comments it's only five dollars and it does help support the channel back to some physical products we've now got the xbox console wraps these are brand new and also quite an interesting concept at the moment they're available in two different color options the blue camo to match a controller that released last year and obviously the starfield edition they attach onto the console very easily they're not like the cheap console stickers that you get off of amazon that are sticky sided tape that wrap onto the console it's actually a physical almost like a coat for the xbox series x that goes around it and has a very tight fit that you can take on and off without too much hassle currently they cost around 40 dollars and you can pre-order them on the microsoft official website but the lead time on them is quite extensive they take around a month or so to actually arrive because of how high demand they are next up we've got something a little bit more expensive but not too crazy in terms of its product category for what it is this right here is the play seat trophy logitech g edition which is a sim racing cockpit that costs around 530 dollars this thing's pretty tidy it's form factors not that big the biggest problem when it comes to a racing simulator is how large they are in terms of how much space they take up in your bedroom or your gaming room your living room or whatever and then it also is the fact that you need to pack it away if it isn't your main game like maybe you play 50 percent of the time then you play other stuff it gets in the way really badly gaming in the living room and you need to put the seat somewhere behind the sofa or something like that it's very difficult whereas the logitech play seat this little play seat trophy thing really easy to pack away whilst also being very substantial when you're using it and not feeling super cheap and like it's going to fall apart and it's also comfortable for a lot of racing and a lot of hours on the simulator it's also very well built and has a lot of adjustability for the wheel deck the seating position and more importantly how heavy of a wheel 
it can withstand. So on this Logitech Placey, I've actually got the Logitech Pro racing wheel, which is like a thousand odd pounds uh, racing wheel. It's 11 newton meters in torque, like peak strength. It's one of the strongest uh, force feedback wheels you can sort of buy to, to get to like crazy sort of like 20 newton meter, like proper pro simulator stuff. But this is a very strong wheelbase and it's also very large and quite heavy and it fits perfectly onto the play seat and it, it, it doesn't wiggle and wobble. So it, it withstands the, the most hardcore or strongest levels of force feedback that you would probably have if you were console gaming, which is what this setup is perfect for. I also just love the color scheme of the dark gray and the blue. It just looks super duper classy. Not gonna lie, this chair is pretty cool. It was super easy to build and also the size and footprint of it isn't that massive like this is the full setup here and it isn't like overwhelming the entire room i've had some racing setups before that are just a little bit too big now this isn't a standard seat that you would first assume like a padded chair it's like this weird like coat that almost velcros onto the metal sachet it's almost like a hammock style design that uses these contact points to basically uh, elasticate onto it and this sort of hovers in place but it's still super comfortable it's also quite easy to get in and out of i know i'm quite a slim guy but i'm also quite tall so my legs usually are the hard thing to get in and out of simulators but it's great access points super easy and as well i've got the massive logitech g pro wheel on here so it's a huge wheelbase i look at the size of this wheelbase it's pretty pretty hefty and it's sturdy as anything on this play seat. Now, if you wanted to adjust this, obviously it isn't a traditional racing chair with like a, a lever that you would press and move it back and forth like a seat in the car. It's this little uh, adjustment point here. So you would just like loosen off these screws and pull out this, this pole on either side. And then you can basically um, move the seat backwards and forward. I've got it on quite a small setting because I like to be super close. Even though I've got le long legs, I, I really like to be super close to my pedals. It also just keeps it a little bit more agile and diverse if any of my mates come around. It's just sort of in that small to medium setup. So 90% of the time, we're probably all gonna fit on it. I'm also a massive fan of the color scheme of this chair. So I already have the Herman Miller desk chair, which is a Logitech chair. I purchased that back in 2020 when it came out. So that ties in perfectly with the play seat. It's got the same blue, the same gray, the same gray on the actual fabric of the seat. Absolutely love that. Then then also ties in with the steering wheel, which is also Logitech. You've got the blue one here, got the gray so it's all one cohesive unit that then matches my desk setup perfectly with my Herman Miller chair that I purchased a little while ago. It's just all of these tiny little details that make your entire gaming setup look like you've thought it out even more than you have just because everything matches. While we're on the topic of chairs, let's switch our focus to gaming chairs and things that you might use if you're gaming at a desk. Almost a year ago, I purchased this Minecraft Limited Edition Secret Labs chair, which is a super comfortable chair that's great for usage at your desk, but also just in your bedroom if you want it in front of your TV, a little bit like we are here, just a casual chair. Now, the reason why I've picked the Minecraft Edition in particular is because obviously my Minecraft's on Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft own it, Xbox own Minecraft, so it's, it links in really nicely with sort of Xbox themed products. The Minecraft Limited Edition chair is nice, it's very eye-catching with its bright green design, it's meant to look like a creeper from the game, and I think it does a very good job of that. And one of the coolest features are the magnetic pillows. The, the, ne the neck pillow magnetizes on and off so you can adjust it, and you don't have like silly straps wrapping around the chair like you do on some stuff from like GT Omega for example, so it just keeps the overall design super clean. There's always flash sales on these chairs where you can save quite a bit of money on them. So I'll leave a link down below in the video description so you can check out the latest deals on the site. The only problem that I do have with the Minecraft gaming chair is the fact that it's green. It clashes with my green screen whenever we're trying to film videos or live stream. So it's not ideal in that respect. I bet maybe need to get a different color uh, green screen, like a blue screen or something like that to, to fix that problem. My next product recommendation is a pretty basic one, but by far probably one of my most used. And it's the Xbox Series Elite 2 Pro Controller, and more specifically, it's the Core Edition. This released last year with a new color scheme of obviously white, which I just think looked much nicer than the regular black version. Now, the Core is cheaper than the normal Series Elite 2 bundle, and that's because it doesn't come included with the rear back paddles or all of the accessories, like the carrying case. I have talked a little bit in the past about how I think this is a little bit annoying. Like, sure, you get the cheaper controller without the carry case, that's fine, but at least include the back paddles, because that's like a core feature of an elite controller don't care about all the other thumbsticks but, but just include those but unfortunately you have to buy these uh, in addition for like an extra 55 pounds with all of the other accessories that you may not necessarily care about like the different thumbstick options that come off because if you weren't aware the series elite 2 controller of course has the rear back paddles but also has a lot of adjustability in terms of the thumbsticks that just take on and off because the magnets the d-pad also comes on and off and the triggers also have adjustability in terms of uh, the overall throw on them 
Now, one solution that I did find was if you didn't want to drop $50, $60 on the accessories pack, but you did want the Pro Controller, the official one, you can just pick up these pads for about $9 from some third-party manufacturers. They're literally exactly the same, and you can just throw them on. That works as a great solution as well. Now, all of these features are cool, especially if you love playing FPS games, but none of these are the reason why I feel this controller hits a little bit different. But what I truly love and is by far the coolest feature of this controller is the fact that the Xbox Home button is an RGB light. This seems like a kind of ridiculous thing that I absolutely love, but when you boot up your Xbox console and go to your accessory settings, inside of here, you can choose literally whatever color you like from the RGB spectrum to change out the color of the Xbox Home button. I have it as a red one, I I iconic, like red ring of death, but you can change it to whatever you like to match your vibes, but also it's very helpful if you share your console with some of your siblings or other family members, you know whose controllers is who, literally by the color of that light or whose controller profile is currently booted up. It just makes um, life a little bit easier for using this controller. You can see which profile you've got loaded up for your custom button mappings as well. It all works nicely because of course you can change the color of the RGB for each profile that you have loaded up, like red, green, blue, whatever. And you know if you're on profile one, two or three. And now finally, out of all of these mega products that we've taken a look at, let's take a look at some tiny ones. Over my many hours that I've wasted on the internet browsing for strange products to create videos about, I came across this mini Xbox Series X and also a mini Xbox Series S. First, let's start with the mini Xbox Series X, which is actually a pencil pop. Upon first impressions, you may wonder what on earth this is, but it's actually very practical on your desk setup. It is perfect for your bedroom when you're doing all of your homework. This thing is incredibly detailed. One, it's, it's made out of like metal, so it's, it's not cheap, but it's all it's got like an Xbox power button, it's got the dish tray, it even has an expansion card port on the back and all of the USB ports, the fan grill, everything. I use this thing every single day on my desk and I can't see myself replacing it anytime soon. The other mini console is the Xbox Series S external SSD. It literally looks exactly the same as the console, but it's a tiny little SSD drive that costs around $200. It wasn't too expensive considering how like unique its design is. It's pretty fast and it's great for storing your past generation games on. So if you do have an Xbox Series S, you could grab this drive and store Xbox One games on it. Not Xbox Series S or X games on it, but Xbox One games on there and you can play them off of that drive. So things like GTA, Xbox One edition or whatever. You can play things like that directly off of that drive and it works fantastically. Another way you could use it is for transferring games. So if you did want to store something like Starfield on there, you don't play Starfield that regularly, you could throw it on there and store it and then just transfer it back onto the console when you feel like having a big gaming session on that game and then play it off of the internal drive. So a lot of versatility with how you can use this. And again, it's a, it's a, cheap, it's a cheap option for some extra storage because I think it's around two terabytes that drive that I picked up. All of these are pretty awesome and unique Xbox accessories, but they aren't the coolest ones that I've bought recently. And you should check out this video next to see me unbox some of those.